how to replace PCV valve on Nissan Altima. It's fairly easy and inexpensive procedure and it should be done after about every 80,000 miles. Go ahead and pop up the hood and take out the engine cover. PCV valve is located on the engine valve cover between ignition coils number 2 and 3. Overall, the PCV system is responsible for releasing pressure produced inside the crankcase. Failed PCV system can cause pressure buildup inside of crankcase, oil gaskets and seals leaks, increased oil consumption, sludge buildup, misfiring check engine light, unusual noises, and many other problems. First, you are going to need to remove the clamp and take out the PCV valve hose. It may not come off easily, and if that's the case, just take out the PCV valve itself. You will need 23 mm wrench or socket. If you don't have it, you can use adjustable wrench instead. Also be sure to check breather and vent hoses, which are also parts of PCV system. Replace them if they're loose, cracked, swollen or collapsed. Take out the hose and save both clamps, as we're gonna reuse them later. Now we are gonna install new PCV valve and new hose. If you need exact OEM original part numbers for those parts, please check out the link in the description area below this video. And now we're just gonna repeat the same exact steps in the reverse order. First install the PCV valve. If you have a torque wrench, tighten it to the torque specifications mentioned on the valve cover. Next, put both clamps onto the new hose. And finally, install the new hose and put both clamps into their original positions. Follow the same procedure to replace the second hose. If you buy replacement parts online, You'll pay about $6 for each hose and $20 for the PCV valve. If you buy them from Nissan dealer, they'll cost slightly more than that. As you can see, it's not much at all, but if you can do this fix on time, you can save a lot of money on costly oil leak repairs. And finally, Make sure that all hose connections are snug and then it's all done. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and please leave comments or questions below this video and subscribe to my channel.